Welcome, Welcome to Mass and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about impella uh, measurement and evaluation function and location especially. As you know, impella is an intracardiac assistant device that's installed inside of the left ventricle cavity or right ventricular cavity. The main part of the impella is canulc that is a go inside of the cavity, left ventricular cavity. At the end of this canulc, there is a pigtail that uh, establish the canulc inside, especially tip of the canulc inside of the left ventricle uh, and make it free and not touch the, any structure around the inlet. In canulc, we have two orifices, one inlet here, inlet and another outlets. That outlet, if the location of uh, impella is correct, will be at ascending. At the end of the outlet, there is mother that suck and function to, as a turbine, suck the blood from the inlet and empty through the outlet the aortic ending. Except the impella LD here, as you see, the other type of the impella has pigtail. So the LD impella doesn't have pigtail. There are five or actually six or even recently more uh, seven type of the Impella. All those, uh, these three, 2P, CP, RP, that is uh, for the RV Impella for right ventricle, they are installed and inserted through percutaneous, usually femoral artery. The other two and 5.5 LP, LD, and uh, number five, they are installed by surgical cut down. Usually they go to the right parasternal and mini surgery installed there. So in this, uh, these two or three cases that they install surgical, uh, they are fixed, attached on the tissue around. So we don't need to, uh, they are not relocate easy with patient movement. They are established a location. So when the surgeon put the impella, it's very critical they put it the right way and uh, right location, because after that it's very hard to relocate. The other transcutaneous we can uh, adjust with the canoe uh, with the catheter that the ends is outside. We can adjust location of the impella. Here we have uh, some uh, measure and parameter for the canoe. We have pigtail, the size for all of them, except uh, this one is three centimeter. In for one CP, four centimeter, four centimeter. And at the canoe, there is a marker that we can see in radiology fluoroscopy, a marker when the surgeon put the impella they can see exactly location of the marker related to the aortic valve. And we have inlet that the uh, distance of this marker to the inlet is 3.5 up to 4.5 dependent type of the impella. Now, Let's see how, what is the protocol for evaluation of the impella. When the patient has impella, as you, uh, I forgot to mention, impella is a temporary ventricular assistant device. Except for those num uh, impella number uh, five and LD, the other, because the size and uh, the, uh, the half-shelf time of the dose impella 
because thrombosis forming and all those stuff usually we use them less than two weeks except uh, LD and uh, number five that they can be used for one month after that two weeks or one month if a patient still need some assistance uh, they have to uh, use another and new impeller for uh, impeller protocol we have two things first lv function and rv function and second the location of the impeller so as usually for lv function we do have plaques Isax on the three different level, apical four, two, three. Then when we finish that one, that is very hard in many patients, as I'm telling you, if you go for the first time doing a scanning pillow, because patient has a lot of other things go around. They are usually, but most of the time, uh, on the ventilator, location, position of the patient, you cannot change too much because of the hemodynamic of the patient and many other stuff. It's very hard to get those, but you have to do your best as much as you can give conclusive images for evaluation of LV function. After that, your main concern and focus uh, is location of the impeller. For impella, again, depending on the patient, the best uh, view you can see impella is plaque. A little off axis, low axis, or classic uh, axis. As long as you can see uh, impella. How impella looks like in the echo. Impella usually is, uh, you can see because it's smooth metallic and plastic or uh, other uh, material. Like two line hyper echo on the echo, it show up. At the inlet, you will see a drop out here. Drop out. This is your inlet. And pigtail, you can see a little thinner than this uh, canoe, and it goes all the way and. And you can see maybe a reverberation artifact. For measurement, you have to measure the beginning of dropout to the aortic ring. That is your measurement. For making sure you can put color and you will see turbulence or mosaic pattern on color, you know, because there is turbulence, blood going, sucking with the turbulence go through the inlet to the canoe. And always do dual image, one with, without color, one with color, and make sure your inlet has uh, turbulence and has drop. It's the same as for the LD uh, impeller, you measure from starting drop out to the aortic. Sometimes, because of classification of the aortic wall here, many patients or windows, maybe you don't see aortic root. What should you do? Or where do you put your measurement? If you have, if you're lucky, you can see mitral valve ring. You can use mitral valve ring, ring as a aortic ring because they are at the same level. So you can use a, a mitral valve ring uh, instead of the aortic valve ring if you don't have it. The size of this distance, as I told you, depending on the type of impeller, usually should be between 3 to 4.5. But the main reason, main reason of this distance is that inlets should be free inside of the left ventral cavity and not touch any major structure like anterior mitral leaflet or sigmoid until here is the TEE, so this is anterior mitral leaflet and this is sigmoid. Uh, I'm going to show you in the transthoracic echo shortly and you see how it looks like. Here we have uh, very, as you see, poor windows, but still we can see drop out here, as you see here, turbulence go inside. But we don't see, unfortunately, 
aortic ring or even mitral valve ring. But you know exactly where is that. I can guess because based on all those structural experience, here is your ring and you have to measure from here to here. Here you can see pigtail. I am showing you a pigtail better image, pig, uh, pigtail, how it looks like, what is different between cannula. Because when for many days the uh, impella is there, here we get some thrombosis and you lose drop out. So you have to use turbulence and the size of this two part for the landmark to measurement inlet to the ring. Here, if you can have it on that plex, much better. If not, you go apical fine. As you notice here, we put color again here. We can see mosaic or turbulence pattern and drop out there. Drop out an aortic valve. Some of the cusp I can see here. So your measurement here to here. As you notice here, it's very short. It's a little superficial. It's not location you can say this is less than 3.7 and even uh, here because of the force suction force on inlet the sigmoid goes connect to the inlet so we can see even without measurement this is a little superficial this uh, impella and you should be go a little more in and relocate that here when we as uh, as Another one cases, you can see here pigtail and separate pigtail from canoe. It's two line hyperecho thinner than the main canoe here. As you can see, because it was for many days and some thrombosis, he almost uh, lost uh, dropout on here. But this change of the size, you can almost assure this is your inlet and here aortic. Uh, ring, I can see here, aortic ring. So this is very superficial. As you notice here, this uh, sigmoid goes close and contact uh, the inlet and even mitral valve anterior go contact and sucked by this uh, canal to the inlets. Being in this situation, as you maybe know, this can cause increased, first of all, hemodialysis because one of the complication of the impella, especially when it's not in the right location, increasing hemodialysis. Uh, and you can see on the uh, urine output, color change, doctor, or with the urinalysis, you can see increased hemo, hemolysis. And even this can stimulate the sick, uh, septum and can cause some kind of the additive too. So this cannula is very superficial. Here, the same patient in apical tree, you can see this sigmoid sucked by the inlet uh, blood and then close and it can cause many complication. And here you can measure an there is aortic ring you can measure from the beginning of drop out to the here. Now let's go how we evaluate right ventricular impella. Right ventricular impella uh, has been inserted by uh, through the femoral vein. Go to the IVC and finally pass through the RVOT and Tip of the impella is all above the pulmonary valve. Inlet will be in the IVC close to the right atrium and outlet here is opposite. Inlet is here and outlet is in the pulmonary artery. The location of outlet should be to uh, up to three centimeter above the pulmonary valve ring. How we do evaluate RV impella is the same beside of the LV function. We do RV function, TAPC, TAPSV, all those evaluation for right ventricular. Then we go to the PSAX, RVOT, non-modified, modified view, and we show 
the turbulence at the outlet and uh, how much distance drop out to the pulmonary valve uh, ring. And another, uh, you go to the upcoastal view <coughs> or on the PISAX and you put color and show where is the uh, inlet of the impella location by color and without color. As you notice here, here we have inlet and we have to put color here and try fanning. You have to do maneuver until you see. And don't forget, always put color and you can see turbulence in outlet and find the dropout. It's very hard, but you can find it uh, with a little being adjust, uh, uh, flexible to different location and some modify window. You can see the outlet of the impella and then measure tip of the uh, impella to the pulmonary valve ring. Uh, I like to mention something here about the artifact of the impella. So many times maybe you do Doppler on the patient with impella just be aware that impella, because of the modern, tur modern turbine, it create an artifact, you see regular, uh, and regular artifact on this uh, Doppler, this block, the artifact of device. But still, if you have a little optimize your Doppler, you can get any TR or any other uh, Doppler evaluation you want to it. I hope you like it and don't forget for your any uh, comment and any question up to the next time have a wonderful day